What is going on, people? Inside the internet machine, welcome to this episode of The Pickups. We got some cool video game stuff. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM Retro gaming goodness. Let's just get started. For me personally, garage sale seasons have have not garage sale seasons. Garage sale season has not been going uh, so great. I'm off Friday and Saturday and Sunday, Sunday, which are prime days to go game hunting. And usually Friday is like my day, but uh, my daughter was doing the online school thing, but her on-site testing was on Friday, and of course it was from nine to eleven. So it was like one week they had math and English, then social studies and whatever. So uh, there was like five or six weeks there where well, like my Fridays were no good. And then we've been doing contract negotiations at our department. So that, that took a couple weeks. So I wasn't able to go. And of course today is Friday and it is raining. So <laughs> I've basically been shut out for the last two months. Um, I have been able to hit a couple and you guys have saw, seen that, you know, I picked up that big lot of transformers, but I met with Brett Hamilton who is uh, clearing out some of his video game stuff. And usually what he does is he'll give it to me and then I'll kind of list it or sell it for him. I'll get a little piece of it, but if there's games that I don't have in the collection, you know, I might add one or two to the collection for free. But the first thing that he threw my way was this Playing With Power, Nintendo NES Classics. This is a hard book. I don't know where he got this from, but uh, I can't wait to uh, check it out, read it, take a look at it. And we'll probably add it to the collection just because uh, this kind of stuff is not stuff that I would normally go out and buy on my own. If I saw it at a garage sale or something for cheap, I'd pick it up, but I haven't been able to go to garage sales. But free is my second favorite F word and we got it from our friend, Brett Hamilton. So cool to add that to the collection and I can't wait to take a look at it, like I said. So this is, uh, this is some of what he gave me. I haven't really looked through here to see if anything has, is valuable or worth selling on my eBay store. Or just kind of lotting it up and selling it local. I don't know why there's a copy of uh, Vin Diesel Bloodshot on Blu-ray, but you know what? I'll probably end up watching that. I got time tonight. Uh, this is a pretty good game to find. I know that Captain America uh, Super Soldier, it's missing the manual. It will probably need to be resurfaced, but you know, I, I think this game was getting close to that 40 or $50 range for whatever reason. But I, th I think 30 bucks is probably fair. Uh, 360 game I've never seen before, Worms Collection. I know there's a lot of people out there that love the Worm series. Uh, just never really played it. We got uh, Bioshock the Collection, which I'm sure I have that. I think Hav sent that to me. Uh, Doom. Oh, he gave this to me. This is cool. Because I like this kind of stuff for PS2. It is the Volume 14 Jump Pack Demo Disc. Let's just take a second and see what's on here. 10 hot new games. Shadow of the Colossus. Ratchet Deadlock. iToy Operation Spy. Okami. Hitman, Blood Money, MLB 06, The Show, uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, Legend, Black, Dragon Guard 2, Driver, Parallel Lines. Yeah, I always like these demo discs and I uh, kind of wish they would do stuff like that more often. I did not know what this was until I opened it, but it is Shadow of the Tomb Raider uh, on PS4. It is the last Tomb Raider game on PS4 that I need. I have the three that came out in the States and then... Um, uh, the uh, Temple of Osiris, which was a PAL exclusive. You can download it in the States, but I will probably keep this until I play through it. And then uh, we might flip it or trade it in. Another game I've had my eye on, which is crazy, uh, Apache Air Assault. Now, I don't know what this game goes for. I don't see it a lot, but it's kind of like the old Jungle Strike games and Nuclear Strike games. So I definitely want to uh, give that a run. Also had this in there. It's uh, some type of God of War Ascension. I think it's like a demo. I really don't even know what this is. I don't know if they gave these out at GameStop or if this was like a pre-order thing. I, I don't know. So if any of you guys know what this was, uh, leave a comment down below for sure. Save me a little bit of time on research. Uh, ESPN, Basketball, 2K5, Borderlands 2, uh, Wreckfest, Drive Hard, Die Last. That sounds exciting. Um, I have been looking for a new racing game. I haven't played a new racing game on PS4 since uh, Need for Speed Rivals a couple years ago. So that may fit the bill. And then I think a game that my son and I are going to play, my middle son, uh, Brothers, two-player co-op kind of game. GameTrailers.com, game of the year 2013. 
so it has to be good. But uh, yeah, if anybody knows anything about this game, I, I just really kind of know it's a two-player co-op kind of thing. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know how it is. Also in the bundle that he gave me was a uh, official Super Nintendo controller, which I told him I have a box with styrofoam waiting for two controllers and a console and all that stuff to go back in there. So I'll probably just throw that in the uh, in the box to try and complete that console. There's a copy of Frogger, which I'm sure I have. Got a little label wear. I don't even know what that game goes for, but the way game prices are, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a $10 game. And then uh, Super Off-Road the Baja. It is missing the manual, but you know, almost important, just as important, because it's got the uh, the cardboard insert, right? But uh, I, think my, I think Tyler gave me the manual for this game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take the cartridge out because the cartridge is a little worn, throw my copy with the manual in there and we'll have uh, another complete Super Nintendo game, which is awesome. You can't complain uh, about box Nintendo and Super Nintendo and N64 games because you just don't see the boxes that much anymore. Uh, we definitely have some resellers here. We have a claims star voyager i actually uh tried to play this and um it was really fun you're like almost like a, a space rpg type game you know and you're flying around but uh like on a, i think it was on a grid or something and you had to make it to different areas before you run out of fuel it was really fun and i didn't put a lot of time into it but i can tell you i, I had a blast uh one of my favorite nintendo games of all time ninja gaiden now i am going to keep these uh dust covers and I'll throw those up on my eBay store and I'll just ship them in a box. We have a uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 with the manual. The manual's kind of dinged up and it's come apart in there. Like the center pieces come apart so the manual really isn't good, but I'll just, I'll throw it in. I'll sell the, uh, the card. I don't know, what's, what's Mario 3 go for nowadays? Like 15, 20 bucks? So I'll be like 22 bucks, you know, two bucks for the manual. So I went back down to Grove City to uh, pick up my daughter's PS4 at Tekken Gamer and I saw a a pawn shop that I'd never seen before. I, It's been there for a while. I just drove past it. They had some uh, some games on the shelf. I said, how much are these PS3 games? He said $1.99 each. So we snagged Grand Theft Auto 4. We'll throw that up on the eBay store. Uh, here's a decent title right here, Spider-Man 3. Uh, I've also never played this game, but you know, seems to go for a couple bucks on eBay. And then uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Somebody like cut a star or something in here. So for two bucks, what I'll probably do with this one is I'll wait till it trades in at GameStop. This cover art is absolute garbage. But I'll wait till, you know, GameStop's given like seven or eight bucks for Black Ops games again. They usually do that kind of twice a year. And I'll just trade in the disc. And uh, that'll pay for, you know, trading that one disc will pay for the other two games and we have those for profit, which is nice. When I left that pawn shop, it was, it's kind of like, imagine like a strip mall that runs parallel to the road. But there was like a side street that went like perpendicular to the road and there was one of those uh thrift stores back there that's like a cancer benefit thrift store you know all the proceeds go to cancer benefit cancer research and uh for two dollars and fifty cents we found a 1988 or 89 1988 tiger electronic shinobi uh she's got little scuffs on her and stuff like that but she works great and i can't believe how much people are actually asking for these online uh, it's got the battery cover which is a which is a bonus so very cool to find that and uh, while we we're hanging out with brett hamilton we went over to video games express i did not want to go to video games express i ran into jared over there so hey jared if you're watching uh i'll hit you up about those uh, uh saturn and dreamcast games you asked about but uh, they're having a sale it was uh buy one game get one game at half price even the retro stuff and then all the loose disc stuff they had was uh Four, four for five dollars. So I picked up uh, four games. Brett wanted uh, an Assassin's Creed on the 360, but we snagged Gallop Racer 2004. So that was just the disc only for 250. That's a pretty good price, right? That's probably about a 15 dollar disc. Uh, snagged Whiplash on the PS2 about eh, about 10, 12 bucks. And then here's one they were they didn't know. MLB The Show 16 on PS3 and Xbox 360 is the last show game that they made on those consoles. Similar to like Madden 17 was the last Madden game that they made on, uh, you know, the 360 and the PS3. So they hold a little bit of value. I'm guessing this is about a $15 disc. So for $5, we got, let's see, about 20, 30, we got about $40 worth of loose disc resellables. 
Okay, so uh, that that's gonna do it. We did snag some like records and some uh, audiobooks, guys. Look, if you see audiobooks, do not pass them up. Make sure you take some time to look at them. You know, scan them all on your eBay app or whatever. But that is gonna do it for all the video game stuff, guys. What have you been picking up lately? How has your garage sale season been going? Leave a comment down below. Please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, share on social media because it does help out a lot. Don't forget to bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM Retro gaming goodness and be notified of live streams, which hopefully we'll have another one this weekend. But anyway, guys, take care of yourselves and we'll see you on the next one.